In this video, I'm going to explain how we can use visualization to help us live longer and in great health. You see, when we visualize ourselves performing a particular behavior or achieving a specific health goal, our brains can't distinguish between that mental image and the actual experience. As a result, we activate the same neural or nerve pathways and muscles as if we were physically performing the action. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Finbar, and on this channel, I explore how we learn to love the skin we are in so that we can live happier, healthier, and more joyful lives. Now, let's dive in, starting with some actual science. Neuroplasticity refers to the brain's ability to change and adapt over time. Neuro is the term used for things related to nerves or the nervous system, uh, like a neurologist, and plasticity comes from plastic, which means can be easily molded. So neuroplasticity is the concept that the brain can form new neural or nerve connections and pathways based on our life experiences and our environment. Not long ago, doctors and scientists believed that after reaching adulthood, the brain was fixed, meaning that we couldn't change it. However, we now know that the brain is not a static organ, but a dynamic organ that can be shaped and molded throughout our lives. This means that we have the power to change our brains through intentional and repeated practice, such as visualization. By repeatedly visualizing a specific behavior or outcome, we can strengthen the neural connections associated with that behavior or outcome, making it easier for us to actually perform or achieve it in real life. So in a way, visualization is like a workout for our brains, helping us to improve our mental and physical performance through the power of neuroplasticity. Bringing it into health-related topics, in this study, stroke patients who combined visualization with physiotherapy regained movement faster and experienced greater improvements in their function compared to those who used physiotherapy alone. In 1995, the PIANO study was the first research using brain imaging to confirm that visualization alone could lead to changes in the brain. It's a lovely study, and I'm going to link to that here. Alvaro Pascual Leone, I hope I said that right, is a medical professor at Harvard Medical School. He's a professor of neurology, and he had volunteers play a specific set of piano notes every day for five days. Another group he instructed to vividly visualize doing the same thing, like really imagining how to play the piano, but not actually doing it. Brain scans demonstrated that both the group who actually played the piano and the group who only visualized playing it had exactly the same changes in their brains. Many athletes have harnessed the power of visualization to help them achieve feats such as Olympic victories and other accomplishments. At one time, athletic coaches believed that visualization was a useful tool for helping athletes to focus and improve their motivation. However, neuroplasticity resulting from visualization also significantly enhances strength and range of movement in these athletes' muscles. Now, more recent studies have shown that combining the physical practice and visualization leads to even better results than either method alone. So the best thing to do would be to actually physically practice and visualize as well. Mastering visualization may take some practice like any new skill. Following these steps will improve your visualization technique. First of all, it's about preparing yourself and your, and your environment. So find a quiet and relaxing space to practice. Then clear your mind. Um, you, can, you may want to listen to some relaxing music. Or I like binaural beats with my headphone on. When it comes to actually practicing your visualization, engage all five senses to make your visualization as real as possible. So consider the sight, sound, touch, smell, and taste. Visualize perfection. Remember, it's not just practice that makes perfect, but perfect practice that makes perfect. Create big, bright, clear images in your mind. Visualize both from the first person and the third person perspectives so that uh, when you're visualizing yourself doing a skill, visualize it from within your own body and then visualize it from the perspective of somebody else uh, looking at you performing the task. Next, we use positive affirmations such as, I am fit, I am strong, 
I am healthy. By visualizing consistently, you can transform yourself and achieve your goals. Let's explore now how visualization can aid us in living a longer and healthier life by focusing on health habits, positive emotions and embracing nature. Visualize yourself participating in healthy activities such as consuming only nutritious meals, uh, establishing a consistent sleep schedule and by engaging in regular exercise. Picture the sensation of having a robust, healthy, strong body and the positive influence it would have on your overall well-being. Concentrate on positive emotions like joy, gratitude and love. Visualize yourself experiencing these emotions in your day-to-day -day life and consider the beneficial impact they can have on your physical and mental health, as well as your relationships. For more on the importance of pursuing joy over happiness, check out the video in the link below. Envision yourself immersed in nature. It's well established that spending time in nature offers numerous health advantages such as stress reduction, mood enhancement and improved immune function. I've already created a brief video on this topic and you can see that in the link in the description also. Picture yourself strolling through a forest or relaxing on a beach and sit back and feel the positive effects that that has on your health and well-being. Interestingly, I realized that I used visualization a lot when I was younger, mainly during my uh, sixth form at school when I was focusing on emulating my guitar hero slash. My teachers all thought I was daydreaming, but in reality, I was unknowingly practicing neuroplasticity and laying down neural networks that eventually helped me develop my guitar skills. The way you use visualization depends on your goals. It can help you improve your performance in relationships, in your work, in health matters. If your goal is a promotion at work, visualize yourself in that new role, doing the tasks that are required in that role. Imagine yourself interacting with the people the way that you would do and behave the way you would behave. If you're like me, you may have a collection of embarrassing or traumatic experiences that you've witnessed or been part of in your life. Sometimes your brain replays these events in your mind for no apparent reason, and that contributes to stress, anxiety, and insecurities. To combat this, try the following technique. First of all, replay the memory, but blur out the negative part. Just make it all fuzzy in your visualization of it. Then replay the memory again, but this time add a different, more positive outcome. Practice this new version of the memory with the improved outcome. This approach has been shown to help reframe negative memories so that they can reduce your overall emotional impact and lead you to a more positive mindset. Now, I'd like to share something a bit different with you to end this video. It's a song I wrote and recorded with my sister quite a few years ago. I really appreciate you hitting the like button if you got value from this video, as it really helps YouTube decide who to share the content with. Now, it follows the song, Give It All. It's all about visualization and the power of positivity. I really hope you enjoy it. Bye. back by negativity it's what you feel it's what you believe success is just a state of mind slide a door you never knew was there got no worries now what can you achieve make a movie in my brain and repeat it back again One day this will be me I'm gonna make it happen Cause I know that it won't happen on its own On its own So give it all now who am I looking at you've muddied the waters this problem is in my head then 
whom should I be listening to instead? Instead, make a movie in my brain and repeat it back again. One day this will be me. I'm gonna make it happen, 'cause I know that it won't happen on its own, on its own. So give it all, give it all this time. I'll give you what you need. Intoxicated by the feel of someone strong and by my side, I'm gonna make it happen. 'Cause I know that it won't happen on its own, on its own. So give it all.